Right now we have all of the leaves that you gathered in your pot. We're not going to add anything to it. You're just going to add pure water. It's um, Angie checked it, so it's not hard water. It doesn't have any minerals. It's neutral. We're going to add the water to this, turn the heat up. Once it begins to boil, we're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for one hour. tablespoon and then a half a tablespoon. We have this back here, the willow leaves, and we added alum, like a tablespoon full of alum, to this with a half a tablespoon of cream of tartar. And it's bringing more of the color out, which is beautiful. This is happening. So look at that. That's what we wanted. We're going to put a lid on this, turn the heat off and put a lid on it and let it sit overnight so that we can use it tomorrow for dyeing, whatever we're going to be working on. Here we go, pouring the water off the leaves into the bucket and I will try not to pour it on you. Can I get you? Pretty good, just like you planned. Good. So here we go. We're going to be uh, putting willow bark into this container and we're going to do just the plastic containers first so you'll watch to see what I'm doing and we'll get the willow bark in here and in this one is the cottonwood leaves with alder leaves because I know we mixed them and it's okay to mix those so this is cottonwood bark isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. So with the cold method, we are putting in baking soda. See what that does to it. And remember with baking soda, it doesn't change right away. It takes time. You don't want to leave the metal in the pot. And remember with baking soda, it, uh, color doesn't change right away. Do you see the color changing with the leaves? Yeah, it's happening. Now this changed right away from a cloudy liquid to a more clear, brighter color, as you can see. We're gonna put um, skins in them fish skins, commercial tan fish skins. This is willow bark, so let's put this in here. They got, the colors got more vibrant, by the way. So that goes in there. And then we're gonna grab this one, that goes in there. And let's take this one, that goes in there. And we're gonna leave these sit for a while because it's a light color, it's gonna take a while. I can see the green. I mean, the yellow already is trying to seep into this one. So it's got layers to soak through. We took out the salmon skin that had been sitting in these cold baths for about an hour. And they're drying now. And they've developed a little more color on some of these ones. We took uh, the same stock. We added alum and cream of tartar while it was still hot. 
Um, and then we also added the baking soda and that has caused these to really turn into different colors. This is like orange and this is a lot more tea colored. Um, and this one's a vibrant yellow and this one's a little bit more muddy. So we definitely got difference in colors. And so I'll be taking out the uh, tanned fish leather that we put in and seeing if that has had any different effects than the stuff we took out. Um, it had been sitting in here for about an hour. Um, And these ones, we rinsed the, the skins prior, since they were already tanned. We tried to rinse out um, in case there was still commercial tannin um, on these skins.